Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing extremely well. So today in this video we are going to solve problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is implementing the extra algorithm. So as usual, we'll be understanding the problem statement first. We'll be moving to the approach part and then we'll be moving to the coding part. Okay, so before proceeding further to the video, make sure to subscribe my channel. If you haven't subscribed till now, it will really motivate me to make more such content for you and definitely the channel will be helpful for you so do subscribe my channel and make sure to join the telegram community as well the link for the telegram channel is given in the description itself so hope you must have done all these things to motivate me well let's talk about the problem statement now the problem says given a weighted undirected and connected graph of v vertices and e edges find the shortest distance of all the vertices from the source vertex s Noted also given the graph doesn't contain any negative weight cycle. Well, why so? Because this algorithm doesn't work properly in the case of negative weights. So if someone can ask you that, um, can you please explain a scenario where the particular Dijkstra algorithm fails? So you can mention for the negative weight, right? And why we use this particular algorithm? To determine the minimum distance from source vertex that is given to you to all the other vertices. Right, so here comes our first example that will be giving you sort of understanding. So the source is given as zero vertex, this is given as source and another vertex is there that is one. This is the weight given between the uh, uh, weight of the edge that is nine. So you can see the output we are getting is zero nine because the distance of source vertex from itself will be obviously zero and uh, from this particular up to this particular vertex zero to one the minimum possible distance is 9. That's what we are having. And they have explained the same in explanation even that the source vertex is 0. Hence, the shortest distance of node 0 is 0. And the shortest distance from node 9 is 9. So, 9 minus 0, you will be having 9. So, here as well, there is a second example. You can just go through it as well. Okay, let me explain that as well. So, here if you will check. So, the source vertex that is given to you is 2. So, first of all, if you will check from 2 to 0, you can follow this path. So what is the weight here? What will be the distance? 6. And either we can follow this path. 2 say 1 and then 1 say 0. So what will be the distance? 3 plus 1 that is 4. So which one is minimum? Obviously 4 is minimum. So we will be taking that. Now from 2 to 1. The minimum possible distance is this one that is 3. And from 2 to 2 itself that will be the distance will be 0 itself. So that's what we are having here in the output. And even they have explained the same in the explanation part. So you can just refer it. So whatever task is, we have to um, complete the given function, the extra, which takes number of vertices V and an adjacency list ADJ as input parameters and return a list of integer where ith integer denotes the shortest distance of the ith node from source node. Here ADJ i contains a list of list containing two integer, where the first integer j denotes what? That there is an edge between the i and j. Okay. And the second integer w. It denotes the weight between H, I and J is W. Okay, so this is our expected time as well as auxiliary space is given to us. So I hope the problem statement is pretty much clear to all of you. Then let's proceed to the logic part now. So let's see, this is a graph given to us and the source vertex here is 0. Now we need, uh, we'll be using two arrays here. First one is the visited array to keep track of the vertex that we have already been through. We have already visited. And another one is distance array that will be keeping track of the shortest distance that is possible from the given source vertex. So now how does this algorithm basically start working? So first of all, we'll be finding out. Uh, okay, okay. But before this, let me tell you one thing. That first of all, in this algorithm, we'll be making an assumption. What? Uh, because we are not aware what is the distance, what is the minimum distance possible. So we are making an assumption that the distance of all the vertices from the source node, from the source vertex, that is what here, that is zero. So distance of all the vertices from the source vertex is infinity. So that's why what we have done is that let's say that the distance is what? infinity now you know that the distance of source vertex from itself will be zero right so that's why here at distance of zero we have maintained the value as zero and for others we have this infinity infinity thing right now we'll we have to start the execution from which particular vertex the vertex that is having the minimum distance value so which one is having obviously this one the source vertex 
so we'll be moving to this one now we'll be starting uh, exploring its neighbor so what are the neighbors of this particular vertex one as well as two so let's explore the one first now as of now what is the distance of uh, distance between 0 and 1 we have maintained it as infinity so we are going to update this value this distance value only if the summation of the summation of uh, the weight of h that is what 9 plus distance value of the source vertex so what is the distance value of source vertex 0 if it is if this value is lesser than that of the distance value that we have for the current neighbor so what is the value here infinity so obviously 9 is lesser than that of infinity so we'll be updating the value here so now it is going to be 9 so here also let me uh, put the same let's say here the value will be 9 now we'll be exploring this particular neighbor so here as well the same thing is going to happen the weight of edge is 5 and uh, the value here distance value for this source vertex is 0 so 0 plus 5 it is lesser than that of infinity so for this as well the value is going to be what 5 right now as if we have explored this particular vertex so we are going to make it as that we have been visited so what we're going to do is for uh, visited of 0 as of now initially we have mentioned all the values as false so we are going to make it as true we are going to make it as true now again the same thing is going to repeat that we have to find the minimum distance value the vertex that is having the minimum distance value so which one is having the minimum distance value this one vertex 2 so we'll be moving to vertex 2 we'll be starting uh, exploring its neighbor so this neighbor is already been visited so we are not going to visit this one now we'll be moving to this one now here if you will check so what is going to happen okay uh, here let me put 5 okay here here the value was updated that is 5 okay so here if you will check so what is going to happen the weight of the edge is what 2 and the distance value associated with vertex 2 is what 5 5 plus 2 we have 7 is it lesser than that of the distance value that is associated with vertex 1 what is the value associated 9 so obviously 7 is lesser than that of 9 so what we're going to do is we are going to update the value so here at distance of 1 the value will be updated to 7 now okay now the this neighbor or oh, this neighbor is also done this one for this one also we are going to do the same thing so here if you will check 9 plus 14 is lesser than that of infinity so the value will be updated to 14 here uh, so here it will be 14 now here as well the same thing is going to happen 4 plus 5 that is 9 is lesser than that of infinity so value will be 9 here so the value will be 9 also we have to make this particular vertex is visited now so 0 1 2 so that is also going to be true now again we have to find out the vertex that is having the minimum distance value so which one is having the minimum distance value see those are vertices we are not going to check for them okay those are already visited we are not going to check for them so zero is already visited now and two is also visited so we're not going to check for them we have 7 14 9 so which one is minimum obviously uh, this vertex vertex one is minimum so we are going to explore this now so this neighbor is already visited nothing to do with that this neighbor is also visited nothing to do with that now this one is remaining right we can visit this one we can check for this one so what is the value for one seven distance value for one is seven and the weight of edge is what one so seven plus one will be giving you eight which is lesser than that of the distance value of this particular vertex that is 14 so we are going to update the value here so it is going to be eight now so here the value will be updated to eight this time also so we have been through all the neighbors one two three these were the only neighbors so this particular vertex will also be maintained as visited now so this is also visited now what are remaining what are remaining vertex 3 and vertex 4 vertex 3 and vertex 4 are remaining so which one is minimum vertex 3 is minimum so we are going to explore this one now so this neighbor is already visited this is already visited we have this one so for this one if you will check what is the value uh, so distance value associated associated with vertex 3 that is 8 and the weight of age is what 6 so 8 plus 6 will be giving you 14 and 14 is greater than that of 9 so no updation is going to take place for this particular scenario right and now this is also visited similarly for this one as well you can see all the neighbors that it must be having the vertex 4 they are also visited so finally what we're going to have is finally the distance array that we're going to have is that will be 0 7 0 7 and 5 
0.7589. So this is the minimum minimum distance possible from the given source vertex. Right. So I hope that you must have understood the logic part. Well, you can see that we were finding out what we were finding out the vertex having minimum distance value. So to maintain this thing, what we'll be using here, we'll be using priority queue. So that we don't we don't have to worry about this thing. So we'll be using priority uh, priority queue here, which will be helping us with that particular scenario. Uh, now by default, you know priority queue is behaving like a max heap. So we'll be we have to do some sort of changes in the code part for implementing it as min uh, min heap because we need what minimum distance, right? We need minimum distance. So I hope the things are clear for you. So now let's have a look on the code part as well and let's discuss something there as well. Uh, so here we are, we have taken the priority queue of type node. So what does this uh, type node has? For a, so we can see we are having an integer V that is vertex and integer this that is distance basically, right? So here we have initialized the values. Now to this is the implementation so that it works as a minimum heap thing, right? So what we're going to do is uh, we are having this visited array to keep track of the vertex that we have visited distance array as well. Initially, what we have done is that uh, you know, like we were uh, maintaining this kind of assumption that the distance of all the vertices from the source one is what? Like maximum, right? We were saying infinity kind of thing. So here I have taken this as integer dot max value. And you know, that's the distance of the source vertex with itself will obviously zero. So that's what we have done here is that distance of S uh, is zero. This is the value will be zero. Now we are adding this particular node that is what this particular vertex as well as the distance associated that will be zero to our queue. Now we are moving inside this while loop while our queue is not empty. We are popping out the element that is there. And if this particular vertex is already visited, that how you will confirm with the help of our visited array. If it is already visited, then we have to continue. We don't have to proceed further. Otherwise, we are making it as visited and then we are exploring its neighbor, right? So you know that. Uh, I dot get zeroth element that is having what that is having the neighbor thing and uh, the next one the one th element is having the weight right associated with the edge. So what we are doing is if that particular neighbor is not visited, so we are checking if w plus current dot distance if it is lesser lesser than that of the distance that is there for uh, the neighbor that we are exploring. So if the value is min uh, lesser, so we are going to update the value. The distance value for that particular neighbor as a w plus current or distance and we are adding this as well in our queue so that's what we are doing the same thing that i just explained you in the logic part and at the last we are simply returning distance array. okay so i hope that you must have understood the code part as well the link for the code uh, is given the description itself so you can just check it there for the reference purpose that is there so thank you for watching this video guys keep learning keep preparing bye bye